97. You know the food has to be amazing if someone's willing to trek through several feet of snow in a blizzard to get that grub. But imagine the heartbreak when you realize that the restaurant is closed for a snow day. Well, that's exactly the feeling a camera appears to capture outside the front door of a Scarborough establishment. This video has gone viral and now Nicey's Eatery at Finch and Markham Road is searching for this dedicated diner whose loyalty clearly goes beyond the wrath of any snowstorm. <laughs> so let's see if CP24 can help find him. We welcome to CP24 tonight the owner of Nicey's Eatery, Valerie Lai. Valerie, thanks so much for your time tonight. What were you thinking when you were watching this video? Uh, again, total disbelief that it actually happened. I mean, usually you will see this like in the funniest uh, you know, uh, video um, on TV, but to have it happen to our restaurant was you know, something that I couldn't believe that it could happen. Valerie, if I'm watching a guy trek through waist deep in snow, you have to be cooking up something delicious. <laughs> What are you serving at this restaurant that is making people trek through minus 20 degree weather in waist deep snow and then dropping to his knees in disappointment? What are you serving up there? Well, um, honestly, we have pretty much everything on the menu that you would do, uh, get if you actually travel to Jamaica. So we have our jerk chicken, our oxtail, curry goat, fried chicken, jerk pork. Uh, chicken roti, goat roti, festival, dumpling, saltfish, escovitch fish. So we have everything that is just like the taste of the Caribbean. And I bet it's pretty darn amazing. Look, this guy, you, he doesn't say a word in the video. There's no audio, but you don't need the audio to know exactly the heartbreak and exasperation he's feeling in that <laughs> moment. Where do we go from here? You're looking for this guy. Why do you want to find him, Valerie? <laughs> Because I'm just very curious, like, you know, what was on his mind? Like, why would he come out in this type of weather to, um, you know, come to our store? And, you know, what kind of food did he want? You know, what was on his menu for that day? Uh, but, yeah, I, I would love to know. And I've been looking for him every day. It's day four. And I haven't seen anybody with that height or that jacket coming through that door as yet. Uh, he's brought me a whole lot of other people. Uh, you know, a lot of customers have come by to support us. And I have to thank him. He is my angel in disguise. You know, <laughs> just well, I can watch this footage all day long. It's so good. You know, Valerie, get, considering the fact that someone would go through that extent to eat your food, I mean, as a restaurant owner, that's got to be probably the best validation ever, knowing that someone is willing to go through, I guess, a lot of pain <laughs> to get to your I agree. restaurant. Yeah, I feel very moved that, you know, somebody would do something like this, you know, so if you're out there watching this, please come by and see me. You know, you're offering a free meal to this guy, and I've been so impressed as well, just watching the community spirit, seeing so many people coming together on your Instagram page, for example, saying, if you find him, Valerie, let me know. I want to offer this guy a meal on me as well. What does that say about the community? Um, you know, I've been very blessed, like our store, our restaurant, and uh, I've been blessed with so many support, like, you know, from the black community and from the Canadians. Um, just all around that uh, we're very fortunate to live in a multicultural society that can, um, you know, uh, I'm just losing my train of thought just because, you know, I'm moved, you know, by the amount of people that comes out to support us. And Valerie, uh, you know, here's a million dollar question. Other than Nicey's Eatery, is there any other restaurant in the city of Toronto that you would walk <laughs> way steep in snow to go get that grub? I am not sure. I think I would just stay at home. <laughs> Probably a good call, but uh, we hope we can get the word out because I think we could all agree this guy is uh, is deserving of at least a free meal. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are watching our show right now. We've got a large audience that are probably very curious what you're cooking up at Nicey's Eatery, and we encourage everyone to go check it out. Go support your local restaurants, uh, including Nicey's Eatery, and uh, what a great story. Yes, it is. I do agree. And can I just add something? Valerie, quick question for you. What yeah, do you think I he was saying think... as as he got to the front there and dropped to his knees? What do you think this guy was expressing to himself? 
He's like, you know, oh my God, I can't believe this, you know, they're closed. What am I going to do next? You know, what is my meal? You know what, I have to go home and cook now? This is not happening. And he wanted to say something. Go ahead. I just want to thank, you know, the community overall. Just, um, it just, I don't, you know, there's not a lot of people who get this chance to go viral. And I just want to thank everybody out there who comes through our door every day for their patience and for supporting us throughout these years. And I do mean it from the you know, bottom of my heart. Thank you. And clearly, Valerie, you're doing something right as well as a small business owner if you've got this much support from the community. But look, Mystery Man, we're looking for you. Come see Valerie at Nicey's Eatery. You deserve some, some kudos and a nice warm-cooked meal as well. Valerie Lai, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank